Hello, my name is Mr. Beck, and in this set of lessons, we'll be taking a Blender model, and we'll be turning it into a live uh, OpenGL wallpaper for the Android operating system, a lot like you see right here. This is an advanced tutorial. You will need experience with Eclipse. You'll need some experience with Blender. Um, you will have had to have probably in the past at some point developed a basic Android application. But if you can do that, you'll be able to follow these directions to take a 3D model in the Blender and uh, create an OpenGL live wallpaper that basically uh, has that model show up. So here's where we start. Uh, in the show notes on my YouTube channel, you will find a link to the website that contains the resources for this lesson. Over on the right, there is a download link. That will download this file right here, resources.tar.gz. And if we extract that, there is a um, folder. And inside of that, we have two resources. There's a blend file, and that's the blend file that I'm using right here. Okay. And then there's a folder called GL example. And GL example is the project that we'll be importing into Eclipse. So with your Eclipse open, you should have Eclipse set up so that um, it's got you know the Android SDK and the Android developer tools and everything plugged in and set up. You'll choose File and then Import, all right, and Existing Projects into Workspace, okay? And you're going to go ahead and you're going to point it to this GL example folder, all right? And you'll bring that project into Eclipse. Now, you may see some red X's here, or it may indicate, you know, there are some issues. You might want to, some suggestions are, you may want to right-click and choose Properties, and make sure that under Android, we have 2.2 checked here, okay? But uh, you'll need to resolve any compilation errors here so that there aren't any red X's. And uh, when you run this example program that I have bundled up inside of this tar.gz file, and you run it, you will see this tree in a live wallpaper by using the live wallpaper picker. Um, okay, so that is the basic setup for this lesson. We just need to get the project imported into Eclipse. In the next lesson, I'll talk about how to work with the model and uh, change it up.